Caitlin Troy. Yeah. All right, everyone. Guys, do we trust Wall Street? No. Do we trust JP Morgan Chase? No. Do we trust Wells Fargo? No. Then why the heck are we giving them our money? I say this at every public banking rally. If you think about it, it's bonkers. Not only can we not trust them, they've proven time and time again that these institutions are not trustworthy. They wreck this entire country. It's totally a non-brainer that our money should, should be handled by us. My name is Halen. I'm the political director for CWA District 1. We represent 65,000 members in New York City, uh, in, in New York State. Yeah. And I think if I would ask our members, where do you think your city banks? Where do you think your state banks? They would probably think it's some sort of public institution that has the best in mind for them. And if you tell them, no, it's the same institutions that wreck this country, people will probably be upset about it. I'm making a commitment for CWA that we will let our members know this is where your money sits. It's not handled well. It's not working on your interest. And we can change that, and we will change that. We also, CWA is part of the National Take on Wall Street Coalition. We have been committed forever and ever to fighting Wall Street. Wall Street should not exist. And we also represent bank workers. And let me tell you a little story. Guess who New York City banks with? Wells Fargo. They just renewed a contract. New York City banks with J.P. Morgan Chase. They just renewed a contract with Wells Fargo. If you guys remember, Wells Fargo got in trouble. I mean, all of these banks get in trouble all the time. But let me tell you a little story about Wells Fargo. CWA organizes bank workers. We have been talking to tellers. What are your issues? They told us a couple of years ago, the banks are making us push all these accounts to people who don't know that they're signing these accounts. They're making us push all these credit cards. We feel bad. That's not why we go to banking. And so we organized and we had hearings in Congress. Folks maybe remember a little bit more and grilled all these people. Wells Fargo had to fire not one but two CEOs. And after that, New York City was like, oh, this is not a good look for us. Let's not bank with them. A couple years later, everybody forgets who do they renew contract with? Wells Fargo! What the heck? I mean, what the heck? What more do you need? So I feel like it's a total known brainer. If more people knew what happens with our money and all the good that we could be doing with our money that we're not doing, more people would be with us. We're super committed to this campaign. Let's do this year 2020. 2022. All right.